Hello there everybody and welcome to a quick Euro Truck video about the up and coming 1.16 Euro Truck update. So it's been a while since we've had a video on Euro Truck, um, simply because I haven't had time to record anything, but this uh, I thought um, needed a video about it. It's, it's a very, well, it's, it's nothing to get excited about really 1.16, but it is and it isn't because uh, most of the changes are coding changes as I'll now describe. So, um, the update highlights are the Euro Truck is now going to 64 bit. Now, to most people, that means absolutely nothing. Um, but Euro Truck was originally a 32 bit application. Now, that means that no matter like how much of a system you have, the actual game can only use 4 gigabyte of memory in your RAM and have a 4 gigabyte cache for things like the map and models. So, um, on some systems, like on my system, um, it was causing sort of lag spikes and jumps as I was moving through cities. Um, however, the 64-bit version means that Eurotruck can now use however much RAM you have in your system. So whether that be 8 gig or 16 gig, or even up to like 128 gigabyte, it will use um, however much it needs. So that's really great. And all that means is that. Um, the game kind of gets smoother as you play it. So the longer you play the game, the more the more cities that it will actually cache, and the smoother it will become. Which is actually true because um, I was playing last night. I went from Nuremberg to London, and on the way I passed through Antwerpen, which is in the Pro Mods map. And I did a load coming back from London to Antwerpen, and I noticed that the first time I went through Antwerpen it sort of lag spiked a little bit as it was loading in the city but as I went to it the second time I had no sort of frame rate changes at all so it really does work um, now the second big thing is that large truck dealers have been updated to match the new style of dealerships so we saw in the last update that we had the, the really cool garages for the small dealerships well now they've, they've got that sort of style of garage but they've they've upgraded it to a large truck dealer so that looks really cool and um, so yeah, it, it's, it's nothing really to get too excited about in terms of content, but most of the changes have been sort of under the hood, if you like. So um, the blog has like a Q and A on it about the 64-bit, and it basically explains that um, what I just said. And yeah, also um, people with a 32-bit system can also access. Um, the 32-bit version of the game still for Euro Truck for apparently a considerable period of time. So they're going to keep the updates of Euro Truck in sync together with the 32-bit and the 64-bit version um, until well, I'm not sure really. They're just saying a considerable amount of time. So basically, it means that if you've got 32-bit system, get 64-bit Windows. Hurry up, <laughs> otherwise you won't be able to play Euro Truck. But yeah, it, it basically works through um, the Steam Launcher, so you can select whether you want to play, whereas before it was like, um, it says play Eurotruck, play with DirectX, play with OpenGL. You've now got the options to play Eurotruck 64-bit, play Eurotruck normal, play Eurotruck DirectX 64-bit, etc, etc. And as usual, the 1.16 update is available to you on the open beta platform at the moment on Steam. However, um, probably by the time this update video is out, it's probably already out. And uh, yeah, apparently um, the DLC map for Scandinavia and the Mercedes-Benz Actros truck that we've been waiting for for ages is fairly close to release. They're not saying when, as usual, but um, apparently both teams are racing each other to finish their task as soon as possible. So hopefully within the next couple of months or so we'll be able to see the Scandinavia map which looks absolutely fantastic and the Mercedes Actros MP4 coming out. So it's all very exciting times for Euro Truck. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope this has been a quick sort of overview of 1.16 and you now know what 64 bit actually means for the game. So yeah. I hope you see I hope to see you guys um for some more Euro Truck videos. I'll carry on doing some mod spotlights um, the next couple of weeks because um, yeah they've been quite popular on the channel so we'll get some mod spotlights out there's there's plenty of things to to cover there's lots of mod updates 
Um, so, although it, it may be the same trucks, like I've, the thing I've done the Volvo F Ace Classic before, but that's how it updates, and it's now got quite a few changes. So, I might do sort of mod update videos as well as the bringing in new mods into the spotlights. So thank you very much for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe to catch up with our latest videos and I'll see you guys next time. Happy trucking!